on this week's show. Now, he was on the last season and he was here as up and coming talent, but I had to bring him back for a more in depth interview. It's Marga. How you doing? How you doing? I have to say, he kept me waiting today though. Oh, what sorry, happened? Yeah, so just, See, this just shows so that he's kind of moved up the ranks a little. <laughs> no, it's not like that at all. It's not like that at all. I just got caught up in a little traffic and everything else. Yeah. Now, you came on like the last season and you put, you know, you impressed. Like us, you know, you did your 32. Yeah. Now, what's happened since then? Um, since then, dropped a few videos, uh, a couple videos on TV, released two mix, no, released one mixtape and releasing another mixtape um, soon as well. Uh, <laughs> Got a tune on the compilation, Ministry of Sounds compilation. Wow, so things uh, are really moving yeah. fast for you. Yeah, man. So you did good. a lot of shows as well? Yeah, yeah, quite. So did quite I hear you went to the Czech Republic? Yeah, I went to the Czech Republic as well um, a couple months back. That was that was sick, man. They, How they did that come to, about? Um, I think it was Facebook. Facebook. It's like most of my bookings come through Facebook, funny enough. It's so like, people just approach you on Facebook and they're like, oh, do you want to come to the Czech Republic? Yeah, it's like. Lot Why of the does times. no one approach me and ask me if I want to get into you? <laughs> no, it's like a lot of the times it's just like, I don't know, like, it's hard for me to just get into that knowing what to say and that. So a lot of the people that will holler me through Facebook, I'll just mm. send them on to Donatella. I'll give them the email and then usually it just gets arranged through that, really. Yeah, man. So obviously Donatella has been a really big support to you Definitely. and um, she's a big supporter of UK music. So how did you guys like meet up and stuff? And um, originally she had like, uh, she was setting up a little, like an MC thing for the Gram MCs, for the upcoming Gram MCs to just spread a little light and mm. get a little face. So yeah, I, basically it was me against another two guys and I won. And yeah, man, from there really, we've just been, Going at it, man. Just doing bare work after work. That she just keeps making sure she gets on to me. Because sometimes I can be a bit, <laughs> a bit <laughs> lazy. Get, yeah, a bit lazy. That's, I didn't want to use that word. <laughs> it's alright. We can all be lazy sometimes. But how's life changed for you from last year to now? Um, last year to now. Well, uh, I've noticed a lot more. Do people stop you on the street now? Yeah. Funny enough. That. Is that him? Really? <laughs> yeah. <I know. laughs> Funny enough, I do. Like um, the other day, I even got stopped by a police officer, and I thought I thought it was like, I thought it was gonna start some trouble. But he happened to download my CD, and he had to listen to it, and, and he thinks I'm good. So I'm hitting all different types of people. I know that I'm getting to the stage that I want to get to. So how does it feel when people come up to you and they recognise you for your music? Uh, it, it's it's good, man. It's a good feeling, man. I love it, man. Like I've always been a kind of person I like to be around a lot of people, fun, just do a lot of things. So when people actually come up to you and they don't know you and they can mm. treat you like they know you, it feels good, like, because that's how everyone should be. You shouldn't be able to just, like, when you go to work and then you've got them people barging you and they're not seeing you. But when you do what I do and you're in them parties and that, it's like one big family. So how about other artists? Like, have you had anyone approach you or say they've heard your music and what they think of it? Because obviously mm. you dropped Kush Wave mm -hmm. and then they were sneaky. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. what do yeah. people think about it? Because they're very yeah, controversial. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, it's the right people are, are talking to me. Like, like obviously, you're going to get your people that's saying bad things. But the majority of the, the comments I'm getting is all good. Like. Um, the people that are coming up to me, it's like, I don't want to say too many names, but it's, it's quite big people. You can drop one or two <laughs> if you want, you know. <laughs> I would have big up for them bigger, isn't it? Like, that's who I'm going to big up for now. But that's one of the people that's, that's been there for me as well and listened to my work and showed me I can do a lot better as well. So how about people you're going to be working with? Is there anyone that we know or...? Um, is there anyone you want to work with? Is there anyone I want to work with? Uh, yeah, there's quite a few. I don't want to say. I don't want to keep saying names because it's like. You're it's so more, secretive. Yeah, you know what? I like to come. Little... I like to be come with a surprise. Like it's like you don't know what I'm coming with next. I never like to let people know what I'm doing. My next move is. So it's more of you got to wait for it. Yeah. Okay. There was um, a while back mm -hmm. that um, you were here, like on the music scene, and then you just happened to kind of going to retirement or something, which is really short, <laughs> and then you were back again. We want to know what happened. Um, I just had a little break, man. It's like, 
this when you when you're doing so much music, you only can be in it for a certain amount of time before you go crazy, man. <laughs> so it's like was I it like it you started it and then mm. it was kind of like you got so into it and it was just like people were coming at you from mm. all like directions yeah, and then yeah. you were like, oh, I don't think I can take this anymore. I need a break and that's it. Cut it off. It, something like that. It was more of like. But was it like, of, I just had enough, I don't want to, anything to do with this music scene. Not to do, not anything to do with it, but I would say more of like, I felt that I was a big input, not in a cocky way, but I feel that I'm bringing a lot for the grime scene. And it's like, I felt certain people weren't like, showing me the love I deserved. So I thought, All right, I'm going to fall back a bit and let you not do your thing. If I still, if things still ain't going, how it should be. I'll I come back. You know was that kind of like a tantrum then? It was, it was a tantrum. It was a bit of a tantrum, but I'm an artist. Wow, <laughs> is that how you were going on? <laughs> no, it's not. It's not a tantrum. It was like it was a tantrum, but it was like. But do you reckon good to come out of it? Yeah, then? that's what that's that's what I wanted at the end of the day. Like I wanted good to come out of it. I wanted people to actually like not just because when you're doing so much and people follow you, they don't actually see the pace you're going at. So mm. then it's good to, to, to stay, take a step back and let everyone look back on the work that you have been doing and what you have been working on so they can appreciate a bit, that a little bit more. So what's coming up for you? Um, coming up, Cheeky EP. Um, I'm, I'm screaming at non-stop because like, I've put in quite a lot into this one. Um, the names are really like like short and sweet, like you've got yeah, sneaky, yeah, cheeky. Yeah, you know who yeah. it kind of reminds you of a rude kid when you just like name yeah. stuff in his <laughs> tracks. Funny enough, yeah, that's the kind of style is where I got it from. Like Ruka. Ruka's always been the kind of person to just name things like what however you feel, so I thought I should just do that as well. So sneaky EP because I dropped it just after I took my little breaks. So I thought let me drop a little sneaky one and then cheeky because I'm gonna be cheeky about it. Nah, I've got my second release. So are the producers yeah. you're working with sibling? Yeah, sibling. Big, big up sibling. Um, yeah, man, he's been going hard. Like, he won't, like, known for, for the gram scene, but the work he's putting in now, crazy, crazy, like. Any other producers you'd like to work with? I'd like to work with, um, yeah, man, Wiley, send me something. Uh, Didn't you go on tour with him or something? Yeah, I did. I went on tour with Wiley. That was sick. Big up Wiley, big up Boy Better Know. Am I right in right saying that he approached you on Twitter? That's right, yeah man, that's how you know Twitter is mad. <laughs> he did, he just literally just said, I want Margot on my top. I just thought, should I reply? Like, what should I say? So what, did he at you? He didn't even at me, he just said my name, he just said Margot, I want Margot on my top. So, so were like, you like, is that me? Is he yeah, talking about me? Yeah, he talking about me? Like, you spell it like how I would spell it. So how, what did you do? <laughs> um, I took a bit of time, looked at it, you know, you just take it in for a bit. I, I read it like 10 back. times, yeah. you know. <laughs> Didn't want to say that, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I read it 10 times. times. <laughs> yeah, and just, yeah, man, I just, what, do you want me there? He's like, yeah, definitely. Um, I think I spoke to him on the phone. Um, he speaks to Donatella as well, so Donatella confirmed it. And then I was there, man. Wow, that's mm. a good look. Yeah, man, I love it. Is there it. any other shows coming up abroad or? Uh, yeah, I'm meant to be back in Czech Republic. Uh, I've got another show in Sweden. Uh, next week, I've got one in Coventry. I don't know, I think. My hometown. <laughs> we got Coventry. Thank you. Uh, yeah, and like a few days ago, a few days ago, I had one in Leeds. So yeah, that was a good, good one as well. Okay, so you're gonna drop a little thirty-two for us? Yeah, man. Yeah. You know, 32. you know you have to. You can't just come to me and say this be like now. Uh, sitting down, man. You're sitting down thirty-two, yeah. <laughs> He's kind of a bit hyper. Do you need to stand up? Because like, I remember the last time I you were <laughs> um, No, nah, I'm going to sit down there. Right, let me do this too. Yes, myself, Marga, Cheeky EP, coming soon. I'm a joker, but I'm not into the funny stuff. Polka, leg wounds, hop like a bunny does. A bat school me, hold a couple slugs, but they get found in a skip. No double dutch. Don't test me, I'm just trying to double up. I can write hooks, but I'll give man an uppercut. Hard worker, now a head turner, cause I'm all over the net. No shuttle puck. That shut him up. Trust me, you're the one that get tucked. Touch me, face get a couple head butts too. But I've got goons that are not, I'm rusty. But I'm still tight with a box that will fly with your eyes. No mighty ducks. Poke up a nigga wrist. Ah! 
sky's the limit, so I aim for the stars. Every couple tracks, I'm aiming the boss. Fit your heart when I'm aiming a star. These men are gonna race to the car. There's too many man, no space in the car. And I got young bucks chasing the car. Move out the way. I've been waiting to bark. It's it's Marga. Replace the A with the E R. Do with the A and C class. No teacher, but I won't pick to jump on any feature. Man, I'm from East. For that paper, I bang off that piece. If you hate us, my man, I all grease. I'm 23, look, oh please. Cop my first strap, 2003. Rah, run off with the oldest key. Plucked a couple of goons, move lemon and cheese. Now I'm trying to get up in the music scene. 2005, entered the game. Kept it, got her, came from the drain. Why would I spit about Shamps and Raven? I was on the blocks with a piff and a cane. Bits getting pushed in a strip every day. No one in the roads, but I'm pissed in the way. Youngers are making the road so flames. Feds in on what whips every day. When I was young, used to work with the gay. Oldest paid for my trips on a plane. Not for the sunshine, just for the packages. Three days out, then I'm back in the rain. Back in the flats, cats in a cage. Holding a box, no David Blaine. Carrying a 3 8 just in case. Anybody violate, I'm taking aim. Carrying so much heat, I burst a few veins. Close one eye and burst at your face. Man, no, I've been doing dirt from day. Bad read from 21st of May. But these pricks wanna tarnish my name? Get out of here. <laughs> see now, that's what we had to bring you back. I, I don't know why you didn't want to sit down to do that. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Well, like if you balloons. didn't know about Margaret, I'm sure you'll know about Margaret after this show. Um, but before I go, what do you have to say? Just one final question when people say, Grime ain't going to last very long. Mm, I say, don't listen to it, man. It's like, Grime is always going to be there. Um, grime artists are always going to be there. Grime sounds are always going to be there. It's just, it's about time we make it more commercial that's all it has to be now so it's how can good. people get in touch with you find you on twitter what's your twitter name um everything is it's marga i-t-z-m-a-r-g-e-r so that's on facebook twitter soundcloud and any other site that has music well um, thank you for coming here and talking to us on the mixtape again mm -hmm. so um, marga right here on the mixtape peace